Review time. What's up, folks? It's your boy, Tony P. Welcome back to another episode of Fresh Drop Friday, where we review brand new music on Friday. Let's get into it. Ugh. Starting off, we got the brand new project, The Allegory, coming from Royce to 5'9". A very well-crafted project from Royce, man. Very well-written. Royce is definitely one of the more underrated lyrical artists. Royce has been, you know, pushing um, incredibly dope projects, but, of course, you know, when you're coming up from Eminem, you just get lost in it. But regardless, this project in itself is an incredible project. Definitely some solid production on here. Um, a lot of uh, Slim Shady type beats um, and also uh, a good amount of those uh, new age Griselda, very minimalistic type beats where you know you really don't hear too much, but it lets the rapper get a chance to get his bars off. Um, and of course that uh, Royce does easily. Also has some crazy features as well, it has damn Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine, all the Griselda's on here. Thoroughly surprised by how good this project is. Honestly, I see myself playing this a lot, actually. Like, I really don't even do, like, a lot of, like, back-to-back -back plays, but I had to run this back a, a couple times just because it was just that uh, that solid of a listen. So, um, honestly, off first listen, though, I was, I'm very pleased with this project. I gotta give, like, a 4.5. Like, this is, this is one of those projects where I'm, I can see myself, like, listening to this a lot. So, the allegory, Royce, Shit is fire. Next up, we got the new drop from NBA Youngboy, still flexing, still stepping. Um, it's a typical NBA Youngboy drop. That's the one thing I appreciate about NBA Youngboy is his ability to stay consistent with his sound. He has a very um, unique sound that he has stayed in his own lane with, and I can appreciate it. It's always familiar, but it's never really stale. You can always, you know, you always seem to find something that you like because it stays in that same vein. And um, this project is no different. As far as uh, production is, is not, it doesn't really grab you like it usually does. I'm just not really, uh, not really crazy about it, but it's still not bad. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's really just a regular NBA Youngboy uh, project. You'll find something that you like, some a couple vibes on here. Um, on first listen, I'm gonna give it, a, I'm gonna give it a three. Just. It's solid. It's a decent project. One NBA boy project. You heard them all. And this is definitely another one. But um, still not bad at all. So definitely go with a three. Up next, we got the new release, Superstar Creature, coming from Lil Got It. Um, Lil Got It is a, um, I ain't gonna lie, man. He, that's like a guilty pleasure of mine to listen to. I really actually rock with Lil Got It sound. Um, I really enjoyed the last couple of projects he's been dropping lately. This one, however, just really underwhelming. I just was, I don't know, like it just seemed really stale, really kind of bland. Um, even when you come across artists like Lil Got It, they're obviously taking off the, um, I don't want to say taking off, but they're off, they're coming off of the, the young thug, you know, wave of, you know, using those certain vocal inflections and things of that nature. Um, He's definitely one of the ones I do like, but this time around, it just didn't, just didn't click like he usually does. It, uh, I didn't, it didn't catch it. I didn't really catch it like I usually do. Uh, nothing really stood out. Nothing was like mm, that. Shit is that shit is hard. I didn't really hear any any kind of flows or anything that really caught my eye or caught my ear. None of the hooks were really catchy. But um, I mean, it's 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 all right. I'm, I wouldn't see myself listening to this one too too much. But uh, with that being said, on first listen, I think I'm gonna go with a. A two and a half, just, just really, just really underwhelming to the point of, to the point of being disappointed. So, um, we'll got it. Sorry, um, two point five. Sorry. Last up, we have the latest release from Kamaya. Got it made. I am not a fan of Kamaya. I just am not. I, even when she was chosen to be on like the freshman cover, I just what I just didn't understand why. I just I'm not really a fan of her sound. Um, and it and it just is apparent in this project. She just she just it really just sounds like somebody's auntie making music. It just, it just doesn't. It's just nothing real catchy about it. It sounds dated when she does it, and it's just it's not catching me. I think how it would like let's say if YG did it or some other female from the Bay would do. It. I'm sure this style can be done, but it's just with her, it's just really just like boring. It's really boring to listen to. Um, I'm not really feeling it. I just wasn't really impressed by anything on here. Um, yeah, if on first listen with this one, I'm definitely feeling that, like a, like a a two. I'm just really not into it. Uh, yeah, sorry. And that's gonna be it for the reviews, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get up out of here, I gotta give a shout out to our fresh AF artist of the day, Bluff God, with his brand new single, Gold High, featuring the OG Sir Michael Rocks. We're gonna go ahead and preview for that right now. Yeah. Banco. Let's 
go. Yeah, I like my cash and fifties. Cash and fifties, I like my cash and fifties. Get my bitch all the twenties. I got a pound in the back, got yeah. the pole on the front. Mama asked me what I'm doing, I just sold me some drugs. I told the bitches give me top, cause I don't wanna fuck. And she can catch her attitude, oh, you know what it was. Pocket got so many blues, like they folks in their cuz. But I can't forget the fifties, for yeah. the mo's and the yeah. blues. Type yeah. of wizardry doing with his wrist obscene. I'm talking money you ain't seeing in your list of dreams. Partner to put a plan, it's Banco, you know the name. Now roll another paper up and put it to the flame. I've been wanting power in my paper. I've been smoking hella burning niggas. Tree is sticky, must be hickory, and I ain't talking paces. Every day we live in loud, you can even ask the neighbors. It's the beginning. I've been wanting power in my paper. I've been smoking hella burning niggas. Tree is sticky, must be hickory, and I ain't talking paces. Every day we live in loud, you can even ask the neighbors. It's the beginning. Yeah. Certified a vibe and make you feel alive, don't it? Where the mic, I got this beat straight out the taco box High, it's like some dino spokes, I mess it with the seven chops, ayy My clip it MP3 and two and M3 Just Spotify playlist placement, the bellies Been no watch since empty promises impress me I've been on the edge, I'm on the edge, my bro don't tell me that And that was Gold High by my homie Bluff Guy featuring Sir Michael Rocks that shit is an immaculate vibe, man. That is some crazy, crazy shit, man. I I rock with that heavy. Um, the the hook is the hook is a little is is a little I don't know like the hook is kind of weird. It gets kind of weird at times, but all in all, super dope. Uh, single. I fucking with it. Uh, I definitely rock with it. You got Sir Michael Rocks on it. That's crazy. Um, if you guys are not up on my homie Bluff Guy, make sure you guys check him out on all the social medias. That's the bro. He also produces. So if y'all motherfuckers out here need beats, y'all know who to go to. But um, make sure you guys check that out. I may I will be sure to leave a link for the song in the description below. But until then, if you guys want your music reviewed on here, make sure you drop a comment right down here, or you hit us up on Facebook at the Taj channel, or you can make sure you hit us up on Instagram at four, number four, ever, E-V-E-R dot Taj, T-A-J. Send us a message, send us your music. We're going to check it out and we're going to review it and show you how to get better because we want y'all to want us to get better too, right? Anyway, love you. Eh.